Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys another Pokemon quiz here on the channel. And today we're gonna be doing a Pokemon logic puzzle. And uh, look, it says 20 minutes is on the timer. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing in this video besides this. I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. But it, 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 apparently the timer is 20 minutes. So it looks like we're gonna have to be uh, doing a little bit of thinking and apparently this is I think this is generation 2 uh, Can you name the gen 2 Pokemon hidden in this logic puzzle and generation 2 is my favorite generation So I decided to do this quiz and uh, we'll see how that goes But I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys do leave a like down below to show your support uh, If you want to take this quiz yourself It will be linked in the video description below and in the comment section below if you took this quiz Let me know how did you do on the quiz and um, you know all that good stuff and if you're new around here and you like what you see consider hitting that subscribe button down below and be sure to ring a little bell So you'll be notified when I do upload or post here on YouTube So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this quiz. I don't really know. I'm scared, dude I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, but I mean we got it. We got to like jump in sometime, right? So let's go ahead and just do it right here right now. So uh, Let's see so a to slugma. I see slugma See, I share the same diagonal with all three starter Pokemon. I am adjacent to Chikorita. Okay, so that means they'll be beside Chikorita. So then where's Chikorita though? Uh, but Slugma. Okay, Slugma, okay. Uh, can I go to next? No? Um, let's just type in, what if we type in Slugma or Slugma? No? What about Chikorita? Wait, what? So if you just type in anything, you just lose? Okay. Wow, let's try that again. Okay. So A2. Um Let's see. Okay, so All right, this is really weird. Slug, see, I share the same diagonal with all three starter Pokemon. So one, two, three. So Okay. Uh see I am adjacent to Chikorita. But you you share the same diagonal? So that would be the, that would be this then, right? So you but you're adjacent to Chikorita. Um What does that mean? I don't know what that what does that even mean? Like, okay, so does this mean this is Slugma? So I share the same diagonal with all three starter Pokemon. So that means like these are starter po these are starter Pokemon, right? So is Chikorita here? Wrong. What? What does this even mean? The average is 38% with this quiz. This is so stupid. What? So would this be Chikorita? Okay, so that's Chikorita. Cool, cool, cool. So we found Chikorita. So Cyndaquil and Totodile are somewhere in here. Uh, the Pokemon in all four corners are fire types. So this should be Cyndaquil then, right? Okay, cool. Okay, cool, okay. I'm starting to get it, I'm starting to get it. But the thing is, oh. I get it now, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so it said, okay, so I share the same diagonal with all three starter Pokemon. I'm adjacent to Chikorita, meaning that Chikorita is right here. So, so the diagonal, they mean they're beside each other. See, I thought it literally meant like beside them, but no. It, it means like beside them diagonally. Oh, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, that's not bad then. So we got Chikorita. Um, we got Cyndaquil down here. How in the world did I get Cyndaquil down here? Oh yeah, they said the Pokemon in all four corners are fire types. I am adjacent to the water type starter Pokemon. So that means this right here is Totodile. Uh, there is a baby Pokemon in E1. Uh, all of the Pokemon in column D are second in their evolutionary chain. Okay, cool. So, baby Pokemon in E1, all four corners are fire types. Baby fire type, that's Magby. So, I am adjacent 
Uh, hang on, see, I am adjacent to an electric type baby Pokemon. That's Elekid. Let's see. Um, let's see. So one of these two or one of these three are Elekid. But let's look at Cyndaquil. I am adjacent to both of my evolutions. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Um, I'm adjacent to both my evolutions, so Typhlosion and Quilava are around here. Uh, B5, B5, where's B5? B5 contains a dual steel and flying type Pokemon. That's Skarmory. That's Skarmory. Uh, the Guardian of the Seas is in A3. I'm pretty sure that's Lugia. Uh, Zatu is not in this quiz. Okay, so Zatu is not in this quiz, so that's cool. All right, so uh, the Guardian of the Skies is in the cell above mine. I am adjacent to two evolutions. Ooh, boy, but I'm pretty sure Ho-Oh is here. There's a Psychic-type Pokemon in B3. And if you're adjacent to two evolutions, that means this is Espeon. You don't give me any hints? Oh my gosh. Okay. They don't give me any kind of hints whatsoever. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, baby Pokemon E1, all the Pokemon in column D are second in their evolutionary chain. Ugh. We have no D clues whatsoever. Um, Magby, I'm adjacent to an electric baby uh, electric type baby Pokemon. So Elekid is somewhere, but the thing thing is they, they say everyone in D. Oh Well, that means Elekid is down here Right because They say everyone in column D is second in their evolutionary chain But Elekid can't be in column D because Elekid is first in its evolutionary chain So that means that it would have to be an E2 cool 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 I am adjacent to Chansey's evolution. So again, column D is their second in their evolutionary chain. So that will mean, hang on, I am adjacent to Chansey's evolution. So that means Blissey would be right here, right? Cool. Uh, let's see. The Pokemon in A4 has been known to block paths in Johto. I'm pretty sure that's Sudowoodo. That's pseudo wudo. No hints? Oh my gosh. No hints. All right, cool. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So, um I'm adjacent to both of my evolutions. That Okay, so Cyndaquil, if we go back to Cyndaquil, um I am I'm adjacent to both of my evolutions. That means that Quilava is right here or right here. Quilava is in one of these. But this means that Typhlosion, Typhlosion is here. Boom. Uh, the Pokemon which evolves into Quagsire is in C4. Pichu is not in this quiz. C4. So Wooper is here. The Pokemon in this column are in alphabetical order by name. So if they're in alphabetical order by name, that means, okay, so Wooper alphabetical order in this column okay so ooh, but they say zot but they say zatu is not in this quiz so then okay um what is a pokemon uh a c t u v w x y and z y yanma would yanma be in this quiz I don't want to take the chance right now. I can't. I can't take. I can't take the chance right now. I cannot take the chance right now. So what do we have? Okay. So wait. Hang on. Guardian of the skies. See, I am adjacent to two EV uh, EV evolutions. So Umbreon is right here. Uh, the evolution of Chinchow is in this row, meaning Lantern is right here. Mareep's evolution is in the cell above mine. Meaning this down here is in fact Quilava. And then Mareep's evolution, Falafi is up here. Noctowl is in this quiz. Damn. Okay. 
Uh, well, thank you for telling me that Noctowl was in this quiz. That's very helpful. Um, let's see. We have a hint somewhere. Uh, so Zatu is not in this quiz. So would that mean that Yanma would be here? Oh, this is so difficult. This is a really difficult quiz. Well, okay. It's difficult in the sense that, like, when you st first start off, the word adjacent threw me off because uh, when they said adjacent, I thought they meant like directly beside, but they mean like beside and diagonal and stuff. So that's what threw me off. But now that I got that, I can I can understand this quiz. Um, so Slugma, I share the same diagonal with all three starter Pokemon. I am adjacent to Chikorita. Cool, Chikorita. Uh, Pokemon in all four corners are fire type, meaning that this in A5 is a fire type, but what fire type could it be? They don't talk about A5 anywhere. Um, Totodile, there is a baby Pokemon in E1. Uh, all the Pokemon in column D are second in the evolutionary chain. Uh, Wooper. Uh, the Pokemon in this column are in alphabetical order, so I feel like Yanma would be in C5, but it's really hard to say right now, though. It's really, really hard to say. Um, the Pokemon in A4 have been known to block paths in Johto, so we got Sudowoodo. Uh, we got Espeon and Umbreon. If Zatu is not in this quiz, gosh darn it, so would Yanma? That's the only Pokemon I could think of. Like, W, X. Right, so W, X. X is Zatu. Zatu's not in this quiz, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try Yanma. Bless! Woo! Bless, bless, bless. Okay. I ha I had to choose I had to choose Yanma. I had to choose Yanma because like there's no there's no other Pokemon that come at the whooper in terms of alphabet. That's yeah. So cause I don't think there's a Z Pokemon in Johto. So okay. The long neck Pokemon is horizontally adjacent, okay, to the painter Pokemon and vertically adjacent to the milk cow Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So, the long neck Pokemon is horizontally adjacent to the painter Pokemon and vertically adjacent to the milk cow Pokemon. So, the long neck Pokemon, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's what, Giraffe Rig? So, oof. Oh boy. So that means that Smeargle, Miltank, and Giraffe Rig are in this quiz. But the question is, where? Okay. So the long okay. So the long neck Pokemon is horizontally adjacent to the Painter Pokemon. So everyone in D two is an evolution, right? Right. This is a fire type. So that means these three up here are Miltank, Miltank, Smeargle, and Girafferig. The question is, which one is which? So, uh, the long neck Pokemon is horizontally adjacent to the Painter and vertically adjacent to the Milk Cow, meaning that I would assume that Girafferig would be here, uh, Q-R-S-T. So, Smeargle, no, huh? Smeargle should be here then. If it's horizontally adjacent to the painter Pokemon, it should be here. So this should be Smeargle. Okay, cool. So that means this is Giraffe Rig, and this is Miltank. Yeah. Uh, you will need an upgrade in order to obtain the Pokemon in the cell directly to the right of mine. Porygon 2. Okay, cool, 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 cool. They say Noctowl is in this quiz, meaning Noctowl is here. Uh, there is one legendary beast in this quiz, Entei. Woo! We did it. <laughs> we did it, we did it. Oh, I hurt myself, but we did it, we did it, we did it. Holy moly, this was a doozy of a quiz. This was a doozy of a quiz, but it's not a hard, it's not a hard quiz. Like the thing is with it is that once you understand their definition of adjacent, then the quiz becomes that much easier because you go from Slugma 
to Chikorita because Chikorita is adjacent, right? It, like, okay, it they share the same diagonal with all the starter Pokemon. So you know the starter Pokemon are in A or are either in B2, C3, D4, E5. And then if they say Chikorita is adjacent to it, that means it has to be in B2. But you know, adjacent in my eyes means it's beside. So because that's what it means in my eyes, I'm thinking this is weird. But since we now know that Chikorita is in B2, this makes it a lot easier. And then, you know, uh, Pokemon at all four corners are fire types that give Cyndaquil away. I'm adjacent to both of my evolutions. So you know that Typhlosion and Quilava are in either E4, D5, or D4. And then uh, you, you can find out Skarmory pretty easily. You can find out um, Lugia pretty easily. And then you can find out Ho-Oh as well. Psychotype Pokemon B3 gives away Espeon. And then you kind of you kind of have to go about it again. And it's not a hard quiz. It's not a hard quiz. Once you just once you understand the whole adjacent thing, you're good to go. So I enjoyed this quiz. This quiz made me think. Like, holy moly. <laughs> It made, it made me do quite a bit of thinking, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quiz. This was definitely a lengthier quiz, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you guys did, don't forget to hit the like button down below to show your support. If you want to take this quiz for yourself, it will be linked in the video description below and in the comment section below. Let me know uh, how did you do on this quiz if you took it. Um, did you get 100%? Did you get 50? Uh, did you just not know because you don't know Gen 2? Again, let me know in the comment section below. But with that, I'm out. Excuse me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.